Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. We're looking at this section of 1 John where we learn, number one, what God is. God is love. Then we learn what God did. God sent His Son. And then we're going to see in the next few days what God right now is doing for us. And this all proves that God loves us despite the lies of the evil one. So how do we know God loved us? God sent His Son. These three verses, we've been reading them each day here, but I think they bear repeating. 1 John chapter 4, verse 9, In this the love of God was made manifest among us. Why? That God sent His only Son into the world so that we might live through Him. Verse 10, In this is love. Not that we have loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. And then verse 14, And we have seen and testified that the Father has sent His Son to be the Savior of the world. John says we have seen and testified. We, John himself, Peter, James, all the other apostles, disciples of Jesus Christ, they testified because they were there. They knew who Jesus was. They watched Him firsthand heal the sick, raise the dead, give sight to the blind, feed the hungry, care for the poor, cast out the demons, have power over the winds and waves of the sea. Oh, they saw the manifest Son of God, God in the flesh, the God that, the God that came to die on the cross in our place for our sins. And He says, we know the love of God because God sent His Son. Now, we looked at the two reasons He sent His Son. Number one, He sent His Son that we might live through Him. I'm telling you, we're looking for life. We're looking for that thing that is so evasive for most people in the world today. They think what they're looking for is money. They're looking for fame. They're looking for fun. They're looking for pleasure. They're looking for something. They look for it in drugs. They look for it in uh, sex. They look for it in in any place but the right place. But my friend, where they, what they're looking for is life itself. And I'm telling you, in Him is life. In Him is life. And only in Christ is life. And He came that we might live. Before we meet Jesus Christ, we're dead in trespasses and sins. But when Christ comes into our life, we live. And we live in Him. We live through Him. And now we can live for Him, a life that is forever changed. Oh, I hope you're listening. I hope you grab a hold of that. He came that we might live. Secondly, and this is so important, He came that He might be the propitiation for our sins. We just read that there in verse 10. In verse 10, the propitiation for our sins. Now, we talked about that back in 1 John 2, 2. So we don't need to study it in detail again, but we need to remember that propitiation does not mean that men must do something to appease God or to placate God in His anger. No, propitiation is something God does to make it possible for men to be forgiven. God is light, and therefore He must uphold His holy law. God is love, and therefore He wants to forgive and save sinners. So how can God forgive sinners and still be consistent with His holy nature? And the answer is the cross of Jesus Christ, the cross of Christ, because there Jesus Christ bore the punishment for sin and met the just demands of the holy law of God. But there also God reveals to us His love and He makes it possible for us to be saved by faith through that cross. It's important to note that the emphasis here is on the death of Christ, not on His birth. The fact that Jesus was made flesh is certainly evidence of God's grace and love. But the fact that He was made sin for us who knew no sin, 2 Corinthians 5.21, is underscored for us here. My friend, the examples of Christ, the teachings of Christ, the earthly life of Christ, all have their meaning and fulfillment, but they, for, they are fulfilled forever in the cross of Jesus Christ. That's why He came. And that's where we experience the love of God. Here in His love, not that we love God, but that He loved us and sent His Son. Sent His Son, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. He sent His eternal Son into the world for you and me, that we might live, that we might have forgiveness of sins. 
because of God's wonderful love and grace. Receive, accept, believe, and I tell you, my friend, everything will change for you. God bless and have a wonderful, wonderful day.